in this video you will be learning how to enter data in the microsoft excel worksheet so i am clicking on the start button and then we are starting excel so as we know we are clicking now the blank workbook and book one opens as we see the name here and since we have to enter data let us zoom in from the zoom bar this data so right now cell a1 is active before we enter data we will see how to <clears throat> scroll through the various components of the worksheet for example if on the keyboard you press down arrow you will see that the active cell moves down one row down and again if you press down arrow you move one row down similarly if you press the right arrow then you move to the right of the excel sheet one more time right arrow you move to the right of the excel sheet the same effect you can also achieve by pressing tab this time i press tab but i achieve the same effect of moving to the one cell to the right and if i press left arrow on the keyboard this time i'm pressing left arrow on the keyboard i move one cell to the left which means i am moving one column to the left so from column b to column a now so and similarly on the keyboard you see that there are page downs and page up buttons if you press page down button once you will see this is what i'm doing right now you will see we have moved one screen down one more time and we are now from 28th row to like 53rd row right so every time you press page down button on the keyboard then you move one screen down so to go up we will now press page up button on the keyboard so this way we move one screen up but what if we want to move toward the right of the excel sheet so we want to go one screen right in that case you have to press and hold alt key alt and then press page down now we have moved to the column p one more time one more time hold alt key and press page down we have moved to column a e one more time hold press and hold alt key and press page down we move to the column a t so similarly if we want to move to the right of the excel sheet what we have to do you have understood it right we have to press and hold alt and then press page up page up alt page up and we are back on the column a so this way you can move to the various portions of the excel sheet and by this time you must be wondering how many columns or how and how many rows an excel sheet has if you want to know that then you have to press and hold control key and then press the down arrow on the keyboard look within fraction of a second i have moved from row one to this row one zero four eight five seven six which means excel sheet has 1,048,576 rows 
wow so there are so many rows so which means in one excel sheet we can enter more than one million records and what about columns if i press the right arrow then i'm moving columns but how many columns are there after z after z we see the column now changes to a a right and then a b a c similarly if you want to know how many columns are there then you press control key and then press the right arrow and we directly jump to the last column which is xfd if you see here xfd is the last column so which means approximately there are more than 16000 columns in excel sheet so these are exactly 16300 84 columns so every excel sheet we can have huge number of records so more than 1 million rows and more than 16000 columns thank you